Hello, beautiful. I'm so glad you could join me on this beautiful, glorious day. Ooh, you're gonna get a lot of your favorite thing this month. We are about to see some really f dramatic bleach fails happen. <laughs> Get ready for me to overreact. Get ready for me to cry. Get ready for me to smile. Get ready for me to laugh. And get ready for me to need to see my psychiatrist after this. Let's watch people bleach the shit out of their hair and hopefully it doesn't fall off. But it probably will. <gasps> bleach has been calling me by my government name. Today is the day where I am in the actual process of making bad decisions. Uh, your hair is very <coughs> dark. Oh my god, listen, Jasmine, <laughs> I'm sweating in this right now, and this is making me sweat even more. Thinking about you, thinking about you, thinking about you, you thinking about you, me thinking about you, so hold on, almost got it, me thinking about you thinking about bleaching your hair is really scary, because your hair is black. You are also Asian, and Asian hair is known for being thicker and much more difficult to lighten. So, we should see a lot of orange happen today, or yellow, or maybe the hair won't survive at all. Let's assess my hair, okay? Decently long, right? Pretty dark. I don't know if this is a level one, two, or three, but somewhere lower end. We are trying to get upper end. She's trying to go from her level one hair color, which is the blackest of black hair you can possibly have, to a level 10, which is the blondest, whitest, brightest hair you can possibly have. Going from the darkest end of the scale to the lightest end of hair color. Very difficult. Especially when you're not gonna do it professionally and you don't know the techniques of properly lightening the hair and you're probably not gonna use foils. This is probably gonna go horribly wrong. I don't think I have very thick hair, which I usually cry about. Also virgin hair. Sorry, I don't know how I ignored the fact that her hair is three miles long. It is so luxurious and there's so much hair that she's gonna need to dig through to get every section perfectly colored and perfectly right this is gonna be torture for you and me and everybody watching welcome to the bathroom the salon <gasps> i see foils i would normally say it's a good thing because she does need to use foils however let's just say that when people did their hair at home they do not know how to use foils correctly and it becomes disastrous and diabolical and absolutely tragic <laughs> section of the hair. Red Mondo said to do four, but I think I'm gonna do six. Okay, slay. Anything more than four is fine. Anything less than four is no bueno. Uh, okay, and this. Can you see? Mm. Ooh, two done. This, and here, here, and here. Super awesome and perfect sections done. Beautiful sectioning, yeah. Like this video if you think she did great sectioning. All of you should like it because it was great. And subscribe if you like um, my jacket today. What if one day I get 10 million subscribers? Wouldn't that be so cool? Little Brad would be like peeing his pants. So help little Brad pee his pants um, from excitement because he would have never believed we'd be here. And by that, I meant subscribe. Okay, we're about to begin this dramatic process of coloring the hair bright blonde at home ourselves. She is about to apply this color and I'm ready to see it. Like this, right? Oh my God, this is gonna be difficult. Uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> Shut up. I'm actually peeing my pants right now. Girl, how do you expect to color the back of your head with some foils? But I will say what she's doing is absolutely great. These sections are nice and paper thin. Very, very interesting. I wonder where she's gonna go wrong because everybody always goes wrong somewhere or another. It's gonna be fine. I'm so Why are you doing this? Your hair is beautiful. I mean, listen, I love a transformation, as you know, because I change my hair every single moment of every day. I also use a new X Mondo color on my hair that has not been released yet. Coming soon but not really. Wait, I want to paint on the underside of this so that it's really saturated. She also layered the bleach on the foil before she put the hair on top of it. Oh my God, that is like an expert tip right there. If you want to make sure that every single strand of hair is covered, put lightener on top of the foil and then layer the hair on top. That is great. I am highly impressed right now. I think this is gonna look really good. Oh my God, it's actually gonna touch my hair now. Okay, okay. Um Are you kidding me? Never mind, I take it back. This is not gonna be good. How the f is she gonna get all the sections? She can't even see the back of her damn head. How do we expect to make this work? We're gonna be missing spots everywhere, huh? Why am I doing this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I get in here? Right. Right. So, okay. Oh! <laughs> I just noticed there is what looks to be a smashed up mirror taped to a shower behind her. And that is how she's seeing the back of her head. And it is very far away. Both mirrors are very far away from each other. Girl, this is a math equation. And then I'm just gonna fold it up. Guys, instead of folding the foils up, just put a whole nother foil on top. You don't need to fold them up. Folding it up makes such a bigger problem and a bigger mess and it's way harder to take out. Do you actually want me to explain what I'm doing? Is this a tutorial type of situation? Because you know I'm not qualified to do that. Honestly, it's giving qualified. It's just like, you need to 
hurry up. I'm so grateful you guys record YouTube videos of you doing this stuff, but I do have to say, would love to see you work faster because once that bleach hits your head, you gotta work around the entire head very quickly because it starts processing immediately and you want every section to process for about the same amount of time or as close as possible. And if you start talking to the camera, you're gonna get white sections, yellow sections, orange sections, all within the same section and it's gonna be bad. I used a one to two ratio, meaning one part bleach, two parts to develop out. My first batch of bleach was just with 20 volume and then with every new batch that I mixed, I drizzled in a little bit more of 30 volume and by the end, my last section was just with 30 volume. Whoa, are you a hairstylist or, cause honestly, I've seen people go through hair school and not know as much as what you're talking about. Actually, some people who work in salons don't even know this much. But you are absolutely correct and you're killing it. She's using 20 volume in the back of her head, 25 volume as she gets to the front and then 30 volume in the front. That way everything processes at the same speed. Yes, that is exactly what you should do if you want it to be even. Insane. I am done with one section. This... <laughs> regret everything but I'm gonna keep going that just took her two hours to do that first section <laughs> Nah. Never mind, it's not gonna be even because that took way too long. Hurry up. I'm done with my third section. I'm about to start crying. Bleach on her eyebrow. Get it off. Honestly, cannot tell you what time it is. Cannot tell you how how long this took me. I am so delirious. I love when people come on camera and they have these insane things going on in their head. Like, why is there a bag with a clip on one side and then the foils on the other? There's just so much going on. And she's happy about it. She's got bleach all running down her face and she is excited. Look at that smile. Gorgeous. <laughs> Anyways, this is how we're looking. I don't even want to show you, but I'm gonna hit the roots now. I am shocked by how light the back looks. Though it does look piss yellow, it is definitely getting blonde. So I don't know what you last saw, but here's a quick recap. I bleached my hair. Then I had some pretty bad, <laughs> some very severe <gasps> banding and spotting and patchiness. So I don't know if I'm gonna show you. I'm pretty embarrassed, but <laughs> it was pretty bad. She had severe banding and patchiness. Yes, she did. And it's because those sections, I know that they looked thin, but they need to be thinner. As she was working around, I was like, girl, those need to be way thinner than they are. Sometimes it's really hard to see what's going on on a 2D screen, but I was like, hmm. I don't know if that's gonna be thin enough. Also, she could have applied way more bleach because bleach expands. And when it expands, it tends to cover all those little missing parts as well if you do end up missing something. So the more you apply, the more liquidy and foamy it gets inside that foil. And it's great. I kind of fixed it. Here's what I did. I had some dark spots, right? I went over those with 20 volume. And I had some medium dark spots. And I went over this section as a whole with seven volume. Guys, are you seeing this? This looks good. Like her hair looks even so far. She's not done, but if so far, are so very, 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 very good. I'm trying for a neutral blonde. Not too cool, not too warm. That's all I know. And if it doesn't work out, then I don't know. <laughs> so since she wants a neutral blonde, I would just end up going over this with an NA, which is natural ash, because the ash in the formula will slightly cancel out this yellow going on, but then the neutral will add more of that neutral pigment to her hair, which she already has a lot of. Really, that's all you need. So something very simple, like a 9NA would look beautiful on her. Maybe an 8, because her hair is Kind of like a, between an eight and a nine. So eight and a half would also be great. Let's just do it. My hair is slightly damp. Let's just try stuff. Honestly, I think all of these shades are pretty so. Anything is gonna be good, right? She's using professional dye permanent color to color her hair. So I don't know where she's getting all this knowledge from, but I am impressed. All right, we're applying the toner to the hair. It is looking a little orange. Not what I was expecting, but that could be because there's a lot of a natural tone in there. Sometimes shades EQ can look a little bit weird when it's processing, which freaks me out a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. This is how we're looking. I'm happy. I, am I happy? Some people have been asking me for my toner formula just based on one picture or one video and it makes me feel like a liar or a catfish and an imposter. So before you copy my toner, just note, sometimes we are giving little brown chestnut mouse and sometimes we are Goldilocks in and most of the time we are just an unwashed stray dog. Oh my God. It went from a complete fail to one of the best at-home color jobs I have ever seen. You guys, I know she just made that look so easy, but I promise that was not simple at all. Like, she just won the lottery. The fact that she just brought her level one hair to a level eight, nine, Like, that's what I feel like right now. I just feel like I'm I'm gonna collapse because I'm so shocked that she pulled that off. Tens across the motherfucking board. Holy shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God. 
wow. So, as I'm sure most of you are all aware, I dyed my hair. It started with just being my roots. So I wanted to dye my roots because they were black and then blonde. I went in with like a dark blonde type dye and it went orange where my roots were and then like a dark blonde. It's locked down, we're very natural, we're pale, we don't have lashes on. I'm not looking my best. I'll just go back my natural colour. That was the biggest mistake I've ever made. That lasted two days. I then went back and bought a lighter hair dye. However, I didn't actually research. Oh my god. So she colored her hair blonde and then decided, no, I'm going to go back to my natural color, black. And I'm just going to put a box dye right over the blonde. And guess what? It turned like gray black and was very slouchy and awful. And then now she's explaining that she did something else on top of that, which I believe she's going to say she then used another blonde box dye to reverse what she did before. But let's listen. I didn't realize that I was just putting color onto my hair rather than lifting it, which obviously it needs lifting because it was basically black. And this is where we're at. You can't really tell in this light how bad it is. Okay, for all that you did, this is not the worst thing I've ever seen. Like for all that you just explained, which was very stressful to listen to, I must say. I mean, not bad for all that your hair just went through. I am shocked it doesn't look worse, but it doesn't look great, that's for sure. And we have a lot to fix. So I've tried to resist and I've tried to think, don't do it, your hair will drop out. And it's not worked, so. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> She's like, I tried. I tried my best to just not touch my hair, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyways. Like you just, you get the urge and it just overcomes you and it boils and it's just like, I gotta do it. Today I have bought bleach and I am going to be bleaching my hair. I don't know if her hair can handle bleach, to be honest with you. So this could be the last ever shot of me with actual hair because it's probably gonna fall out. Most likely it's gonna fall out. <laughs> I've watched every Brad Mondo video. I have bought everything that he's recommended and more. If you watch everything that I made, then maybe it'll go, maybe this will go a little good. Maybe it'll be fine. I got bleach powder, cream peroxide, volume 30. I think I I usually use 30 volume for a lot of cases. Just be careful. And then I got two toners, which say gray, and I know that it's not gonna be gray. My hair is not gonna go gray. I love it, but it's not going to. The thing with toners is you guys always pick out your toners before you do your hair, which like, it doesn't work like that. You get a light in the hair and then you formulate the toner based on the results you get. You don't usually pick the toner beforehand because you don't know if your hair is gonna get like really bright blonde or yellow or orange and it's gonna stay there and orange. Like you just really never know what's gonna happen. But I feel like if I got a blonde toner, they're still a bit yellowy so i just thought i may as well like overreact with the toner i mean listen the logic makes sense i just don't know if that's actually gonna work like that we're gonna start by sectioning the hair so he said go down your part in and section it like that so you're gonna have four sections we did a four quadrant baby hey 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 Okay, so I'm putting it not straight at the roof and then just painting it on. And he said, don't brush your hair if you're putting bleach on. He said, if you're doing color, you can, but not to brush your hair if you're doing bleach because it's very fragile, your hair. That is very true. I don't know if I said that exact thing. I might have just said, like, once the bleach is processed and once your hair is starting to lighten, like, do not comb or brush your hair. But right after you apply it, you can gently brush your hair from the bottom up just to make sure that all that bleach is everywhere. And also, why are we starting in the middle of the last back section? Why don't we just start at the bottom? work our way up next time. Paint it on like this and do that all around my head and then I'll go and do my roots. Apply more bleach. That bleach looks dry as fuck. Where is the bleach? I want more now. This is where we're at. It's definitely light then. We're just doing all the roots now. That hair looks dry as the fuck. Sahara itself. We need so much more bleach on there immediately. Stat pronto immediately. That is dry. I need a white coating on that hair, okay? But the roots are so much more difficult to do because everywhere else is wet, so you can't like move your hair. It feels horrendous. Don't, don't do it. Don't twist the hair and clip it up. We need air going through those sections or else everything's gonna process differently. And the hair that is wrapped in the middle of that little thing you did, it's gonna process the lightest because the most heat is going to be inside that little twisty twist. We want everything even. Think even, you guys, when you're using bleach. Think even amount of air, even amount of heat, even distribution of lightener, even, even, even. Have me in your head. So, so that the bleach doesn't dry out, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on the inside and then put it on the head. Okay, so she's wetting the inside of this processing cap. Well, it's actually just a shower cap, which is fine. So that when her head gets hot, the water starts to kind of like steam up and it keeps it moist inside the bag. Bleach loves moisture. It doesn't like being dried out. Okay, so it says in the instructions to leave it for 20 to 90 minutes. 20 minutes to 90 minutes? That's a 
very crazy recommendation. I don't even know what people would do. She would probably need like 45 minutes with this on to knock that yellow out of her hair. Okay, so it's been like an hour and a bit, um, and this is what it looks like. I've been in the bath. I don't really think it did anything, to be honest. Those roots look pure piss yellow, and those ends look pure ass motherfucker. Red. I don't know about you, but I don't like that combo. It's just not my style. It's hotter outside, but I'm gonna take the clips out now. Like, I'm happy with this bit. Like, I know it's yellow, but it's light. Her hair literally looks like it's burning. Is there steam coming off her hair right now? It looks really, really scary. This would make me uneasy if I was doing this color right now. I would say get it off your head immediately because I feel like something bad's about to happen. I'm just gonna turn it. Oh my god. Her hair is mush. Ew, ew, ew. I hope that this toner is a reparative type of toner, baby, because you need it immediately. Okay, so I've got the toner on. I've put way too much on because I really thought we just need to do everything we can right now to try and fix this situation. So I've put the whole thing on. Guys, instead of using purple shampoo, if you're trying to like tone your hair, which I also wouldn't recommend like just using purple shampoo to tone your hair. Purple shampoo is for more of maintenance rather than like fresh toner over newly blonded hair. Though you can do that if you really want to. Wouldn't recommend it. Use a purple hair mask instead like mine called supernova one of our best sellers it's stunning amazing all these key ingredients are included in it and it'll make your hair look and feel so much better plus it'll tone the shit out of your hair as a pretty much lifelong blonde until recently i created the most powerful purple toners out there um it says leave it on for half an hour but i'm gonna leave it on for an hour it's really bad it's blue oh baby Baby girl. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sit down when I say this. This looks worse than what you started with. And I am so sorry. I have to break that news to you. Your ends are violet and your roots are yellow. You need to bleach this again. Look at this side. This side's the worst. This side. Oh, oh, oh. Here we are in trouble. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try not to panic. It's time to panic. It's definitely time. Here we have some yellow roots. And um, the roots are very close to the head, which is good, but it's not gonna be good when my natural color starts to come through. Oh, frickity dickity. You don't have just yellow roots. There is cheetah spots on those roots. Whoa, what happened? Huh, <laughs> did we miss some things? And then the ends are purple. Oh my God, this couldn't have come out worse. I'm so sorry, am I making you feel bad about yourself? It's fine, it's an old video, guys. Don't feel too bad. Then we've got an orange line from the clips, which I left in whilst the bleach was developing and it rusted. And then we've got lots of blue hair. Honestly, I will say that the color on her ends looks fierce as fuck. It is not blue. It is merely lavender slash silver and it looks good on you. Let's just clean up those roots and everything will be better. I've left the toner on for too long. It's my own fault. It said leave it on for half an hour and I've left it on for 50 minutes, 55 minutes. So it's my own fault. It doesn't look as bad on camera as it looks in real life. It still looks purple and yellow. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. You need to bleach it again. What do you mean? What do you mean what are you gonna do? This is the final result. This is probably why people say don't dye hair yourself. Don't dye it at home. So apparently she left it like that. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what where to go from here. I don't know if to buy a box dye and put it all over or if that's going to turn my roots more yellow. I'm not sure if to just keep washing and washing and washing it and hoping the tone will come out. <laughs> no! No! Anything but that. Do not do that. Or I'm not sure if to just leave it and deal with it in like a week when it's had time. This is the worst bit because this is the most purple and then under here is the most yellow so they really contrast well. On the plus side, my hair doesn't feel like it's going to drop out. It doesn't even feel bad condition like it feels really soft. So my scalp is so sore like the bleach is 100% burnt my scalp, but we knew that was gonna happen. First of all, you're gonna leave this for a week like this? Second of all, unfortunately guys, this is where she ended the video. I do not know what happened after this. Third of all, her hair quality actually looks really nice. I do not know how she brought it back to health, but it looks shiny and luxurious on those ends. I don't really don't understand. 20 volume and some lightener, maybe even 30 volume on some of those really dark pieces. Go in there and spot treat and then redo the bleach on the roots and then retone the roots and then hopefully Hopefully everything will be even. You could easily fix this. Not easily, but you could fix it. And at least your ends and your midsections look gorgeous. But whoa, this <laughs> right now looks scary. I can't stand the fact that you left it like this. Uh, I don't know how you left it like this, to be honest with you, because it looks horrifying. I would have a heart attack if this was my hair. You seem very calm. What's going on? Thumbs up this video if you're scared. So yeah. <gasps> Where did you come from, Miss Pennycourt? You what? 
You heard I was talking about blondes today and you wanted to show off your luxurious blonde hair. Well, listen, Miss Manny Queen, your hair is looking quite yellow and I think you need some Supernova on there, okay? I know that's your favorite product. It's mine too because I created it just for us. And yeah, you do have gorgeous hair. Don't make them feel bad. Stop. Why are you always so mean? What is your problem? These girls are trying their best, okay? You have a personal hairstylist on speed dial, aka me. I'm right here at all times. And yes, I made you some crazy things to your hair sometimes, but that's what you're here for, for me to experiment. What? You want me to keep your hair like this for a long time? Well, I don't think that's gonna work for me. I'm definitely gonna be coloring your hair very soon and we'll see what we end up doing. It's not your choice, Miss Manny Quinn. I'm sorry, I paid for this hair, so I got to do what I want with this hair. And that's enough from you today, Miss Manny Quinn. I am okay with hearing, I, no, 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 mi no, Miss, get, get off, get off the set. Enough. Stay back. There. I am going to bleach all my hair platinum blonde today. Okay, so she is starting off with these blonde e-girl strands in the front of her hair. I miss those days, the e-girl days. Oh my God, the beginning of TikTok was so good. And then the back of her hair is this kind of like warm brown color that looks to be a semi-permanent color. It just looks a little translucent, so it looks to be semi-permanent. We definitely have to treat the front and the back differently. And that's gonna be the hardest thing with her hair is making sure she doesn't overlap the bleach on the front pieces that are already lightened or else we're gonna see that hair break off. I got my little goodies here. I got the same toner that I got last time, which is the T10. I got the brush and the bowl. I'm going to be working in sections. I'm going to do the mid to ends first and then like 10, 15 minutes later, I'm going to do the roots. I've been binging Brad Mondo videos to hopefully equip myself with the knowledge. Everybody today is saying that they binge my videos. So hopefully I did you good. <laughs> Honestly, this is why I want to bleach all my hair because I'm sick of having to just like section this part. It's so frustrating. The way that she sectioned out that front part is iconic. Like, where did you come up with this little braid moment? I like it. I really do. I really enjoy this little sculptural thing you did in the front of your head. It's very interesting. Very, very different. Okay, so her hair is starting off light and she has fine hair and about medium thickness hair. These are all good starting points to get a good result, but people always find a way of messing things up, so I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't come out good. Bye! The chances of it coming good are good chances. Alrighty, here are my sections. They're not very good. They're as good as it's going to get. Of course, I'm not gonna just like put bleach on here. I'm gonna like section that as well, but this is like the main quadrants. I know in the past I've always said to do the mids and ends first, and that is very true. There's definitely one path that works, but you can also use like a 10 volume and bleach on your roots first. Go around there really quickly and apply to every single root, and then do a 30 volume and powdered lightener on the mids and ends after. That way, is a little bit more difficult and you have to work a lot faster. There's a million ways to get to a good end result, but you really have to have the hairdresser know-how in order to make it come out good. So take everything I say with a grain of salt, please. It's like she's applying a lot of bleach to each strand, but then she's kind of wiping it off with her hands, which I don't love. We need to layer a lot of bleach on there, like a lot, a lot. Ugh, I don't like these sections. They are all squiggly and weird. Guys, horizontal sections. You can feel when you section something horizontally in the back, can't you? I can feel it. I don't know about you, but I can go like this and know that it's horizontal. And nicely aligned. We don't have to take a little chunk from here and a little chunk from there. What are we doing? It's a mess. And we got those crumpled up oils that are gonna leave all kinds of imprints on the hair. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Girl, what is going on in those foils? It is spooky. Also, here's what it looks like in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but maybe I should have made more bleach, actually. I think I should have, because I feel like I'm gonna go through this. This application is getting worse and worse as she gets to the front of her head. Horizontal going up, not here, 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 there, here, there. Just pick a pattern and stick with it. <laughs> It is definitely lightning, which is very, very, very exciting to see. Okay, they're starting to take the foils out and apply to the root, but this is the thing. When people try to do this on hair that is not properly sectioned, you're gonna not end up getting all the hair in between the sections because the hair is all weirdly sectioned. Did that go from my brain to your brain? Correctly, I hope it did. Um, that is why you need to take very beautiful slices across the head, and this is why people go to professionals as well. Because you're about to have some spotting going on, on those roots. I know it. I think, like looking back, I definitely should have just done the bottom first and then did the top. Like 
did it, washed it out, and then went from there. But it's, I mean, it's looking good. It's looking, uh, it's looking blonde. All right, my camera died, but I finished up the roots. I did just a little bit of the front root. The bottom is definitely processing faster than the top because obviously I did that first. It's taking a little bit longer, so I may end up rinsing it out before the top part. I'm honestly more than scared that your hair is gonna fall out. It is looking brittle as fuck. And the longer that bleach sits in the back of your head in those foils, that first strand, ooh, girl, that one on your hairline, that fragile ass hair on your hairline, I know it's getting hot back there. I know that hair is getting burning and it needs to be rinsed out very soon, please. Not the shower cap over the foils. Like, we got double incubation happening here. Of a mess. Yeah, I would say actually that a mess is the understatement of the day. Um, it looks tragic. It is yellow as f in the back, and it is gray in the front. Splotchy, it is messy, and I don't know how she's gonna pull this all together. I would recommend getting that splotchiness out with the bleach first, and then putting a toner on just the back parts and not the front pieces. But we'll see what she does. But honestly, I was kind of planning for this. Oh, well, that makes one of us. Okay, we are toning the hair. I don't know what she's using. Your guess is as good as mine. The thing that I hate that she's doing is applying the toner to the front of the hair and the back of the hair. The front was already toned. We just now need to match the back to the front. So I don't know why we're applying it all to everywhere. I'm starting to think nobody actually understands the concept of a toner. Oh, it's not looking good, but let's see it dry. Here's the final result. I did make a mistake when I was in the shower, washing out the toner. In my head, I was like, oh my gosh, like, it's still really orange and yellow. Let me put some purple shampoo on it. And my ends were a lot more like orange yellow than my roots. And so I thought, oh, I'll just focus a purple shampoo on my ends. No, no, because my ends were a lot more porous than my roots. So they ended up turning like pretty, I, I would say almost like a gray silver, not all of the ends, but like a good chunk. And then my roots are a little bit more kind of that wheat blonde. So there's a lot of different colors going on in my hair with the blonde. It's a nice, you know, blonde vanilla. I'm still getting quite used to it. So it definitely has some yellow in it it really gives like a wheat blonde vibe low-key proud of myself for just like going for what i wanted i am feeling good about it for what she just did does it look okay yeah is it yellow yeah if she didn't apply that extra round of toner on the front of her hair would it have probably been even all over yeah i think so she has more of that darker ashy blonde in the front and the yellow in the back which is not looking great together she really needs to just tone the back again with a little bit of a darker color and a more ash toned color color in order to match the front of her hair. But she seems to like it, and I think she, for what it's worth, she did a pretty good job. And I am shocked again today that we went from that disastrous journey to this great, pretty good end result. Like, what the fuck? How? Well, that was a journey. Make sure to vote on your favorite look. My personal favorite look was Jasmine, but let me know yours down below and why, because I hate being the only person with opinions here. I want to hear yours too. Please share it. Let me hear it. And make sure to check out my hair care line, Xmodo Hair at xmodohair.com. We also offer Xmodo in some other countries, so make sure you look if your country is listed down below. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.